On our WKZO Bronson Health Chat this morning, we're going to talk about cold and flu season, when you should seek care, how you should seek care, and when an option called fast care is an option. We're talking with Dr. Matthew Dahmer, who is a physician and vice president of medical affairs at Bronson Lakeview and Bronson South Haven Hospitals. Good morning. Good morning, Ken. Thanks well, for having me. Well, it's a pleasure to have you with us, uh, although I'm not sure this is a topic everybody wants to hear about, but uh, we do need to talk about the uh, normal cold and flu season. How can we protect ourselves from a cold or the flu? That's probably the, the most important question. Uh, really, truly, the people need to prevent the, the flu before it even gets started. The best way to do that is, number one, to, when you can at least, avoid large crowds and confined spaces. Remember about hand washing. That's very important, especially any areas that, that are in common areas where they get touched a lot. Um, carry around hand sanitizer, things of that nature. And then get vaccinated. Get vaccinated now. This is the time of the season when you really want to get started. How do we know when we should seek a care for the colds or flu? Well, you know, when you're talking about a cold, a lot of times people can do just as well on their own uh, and avoid a doctor's office visit or an emergency department visit. Colds are typically uh, viruses that cause mild fevers, mild uh, muscle aches, uh, cough, sore throat, things of that nature. But the fevers are generally 101 or less. Um, that you can actually go get over-the-counter medication and treat yourself pretty much the same way a physician's going to treat you because those types of viruses, there's no particular medicine that we can give you to actually kill a cold. Um, antibiotics are certainly inappropriate for viruses. Um, so certainly a, a physician's not going to prescribe something like that for, for a viral infection. Influenza, on the other hand, typically has higher temperatures, uh, 101 or more, with chills and muscle aches, fatigue, headache, um, and a lot of times pretty significant respiratory symptoms, difficulty breathing and cough. In those situations, some people, it's very appropriate to actually see a physician right away if they get those symptoms. And typically, uh, if they are in what we call a high-risk group, they probably need to go to the emergency department is the most appropriate place. That is if they're having severe symptoms, difficulty breathing, things of that nature, and they have kind of coexisting problems such as asthma, COPD, um, heart disease like congestive heart failure, diabetes. Um, also on the list is severe obesity with a body mass index of greater than 40. Um, and people that have uh, severely uh, affected immune problems uh, and pregnant women. The general group that, that we say is in that high-risk category are folks that are over 65 and children that are under five years of age. So uh, where do we go? Well, it, if you start to have the symptoms, um, you can actually, if you're not in one of those high-risk categories, talk to your family physician, give them a call, actually stay home, and if you're within 48 hours, we can actually prescribe an antiviral medication called Tamiflu. Now, this does not significantly impact the disease. A lot of people think it's kind of the magic bullet, and it's not. It will usually reduce the symptom duration by about one day. Um, if the symptoms are relatively mild or, or moderate and you're not in one of those high-risk categories, absolutely stay home. Um, you, can, you can treat yourself symptomatically, especially if you're past that 48-hour window where the antiviral medications are certainly um, not going to help. If you fall into a situation where you're not really sure, then, you know, again, talking to your family physician. If you can't get into your family physician in a timely manner, then the fast cares are, are typically a very good option because you can get your care um, relatively fast and, and efficiently. What type of care would we receive at fast care? If you're within that, that 48-hour window, um, the provider, if, it, if they feel that this is influenza, they would actually prescribe the Tamiflu. If it's past that 48-hour window, then it's going to be mostly symptomatic care, um, medications for the fever, medications for the muscle aches and respiratory things and that, of that nature. Is there an advantage to a using fast care over, say, your family physician? 
the the biggest thing is typically the the scheduling. Um, you know, when you call your family physician, if they can't get you in, and and certainly we see in this in the flu season that their their uh, busyness really increases significantly. It can be days before they can actually get you in. Whereas with fast care, you can just go straight in and uh, usually be seen within 10 to 20 minutes, if not right away. Where is fast care available? We have three locations currently. Uh, one is on South Westnage, actually in the Meyer, um, by uh, I-94. Then there is another one on West Main between 131 and the Myers uh, on that road at 6220 West Main. And then in South Haven, we have another facility that's at 970 South Bailey Avenue, and that is directly across from the hospital. And there's We're, a new location coming? There is. We are going to be opening sometime, hopefully in November, uh, a location on Gull Road near Sprinkle. We're talking with Dr. Matthew Dahmer on our Bronson Health Chat segment for this week. Physician and Vice President of Medical Affairs at Bronson Lakeview and Bronson South Haven Hospitals about cold and flu season and how to seek treatment if necessary and fast care options available here in the area. And I want to thank you for joining us. Important information to share with everybody on the cold and flu season. Thank you very much for having me.